Hello and welcome everyone out there. In this video, I am going to tell you about human blood circulation and double circulation in a super easy way within just 4 minutes. So just watch it till the end and don't forget to subscribe hitting the bell icon to get the latest updates every other weekend. Let's talk about human blood circulation which occurs throughout the body. Anterior or upper region of the body includes head, chest and arms. Posterior or lower region of the body includes abdomen and legs. But circulatory system mainly consists of heart and blood vessels which includes arteries, veins and capillaries. There are mainly five blood vessels which includes superior vena cava, inferior vena cava, pulmonary arteries, pulmonary veins and aorta. Now let's talk about heart, the pear-shaped most important muscular organ located between two lungs above the diaphragm. It is enclosed in a double layered sac called pericardium. It has four separate chambers. Two upper atria or auricles have thinner walls as these only receive blood from the body. The two lower chambers are called ventricles which have thick muscular walls to pump blood out of the heart against the gravity. A thick muscular wall called septum separates the heart into left and right sides. Blood flow is mainly controlled by tricuspid and bicuspid valves making the blood flow unidirectional only. Let's see how circulation occurs. Blood gets deoxygenated and carried to the right auricle of the heart by the superior and inferior vena cava. From the right auricle blood flows into the right ventricles and then to the lungs through the pulmonary arteries. In the lungs Gaseous exchange takes place and the blood gets oxygenated. This oxygenated or pure blood is carried back to the left auricle of the heart by the pulmonary veins. From the left auricle, blood flows into the left ventricle and from there it is pumped into the aorta, the largest artery in the body. Aorta divides further to supply oxygenated blood to all the body tissues through the capillaries where it gets deoxygenated and comes back to the right auricle completing one round of circulation. Therefore, it is quite clear that blood circulates twice through the heart for completing one round of circulation throughout the body. For this, it is called double circulation that is pulmonary and systemic circulation. Let's discuss double circulation in details. The circulation of blood between heart and lungs through pulmonary arteries arising from the right ventricle and pulmonary veins arising from the lungs is called pulmonary circulation. Whereas the circulation of blood between the heart and the other body organs through the aorta is called systemic circulation. Hopefully, your concepts are clear now. For more concepts, do check out end screen videos and the description box. At last, I have a small solicitation for you. If you find this video helpful or motivating even a little bit, then please subscribe this channel to support us. And share it right now with your friends or loved ones to motivate them as well. You can also leave your valuable comments about the topic of the next video you would like to watch because our sole objective is to help you. That's it for now. We will be back with a new video every other weekend. Until then, keep learning, keep sparkling. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.